Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add um, texture and pattern to the line drawing. First of all, though, let's get rid of that white piece between our arms. So we can do that by using the magic wand tool and making sure that we're, we're highlighted, we're clicked on the correct layer and click that um, white space between her elbow and her clothing. And once you've selected it, you can click backspace and that gets rid of it immediately. And then because it's still, um, something's still selected there, you can go select, deselect, so nothing selected anymore. Um, okay, so to get our pattern, we're gonna go file, open, and let's go for the, let's go for the swirl pattern for her top. That opens over here in another window. And what we want to do is we want to select all of this because this is what we're going to use um, for our pattern over in uh, the mood board. So we'll go select all and we want to copy this. So we go edit, copy. So now that what we've selected, the swirly pattern, has been copied. Um, so that's saved. So if we clicked paste just now, this is what would come up. So we're going to go back over to our mood board. And what we're going to do is we're still going to use the magic wand tool zoom in a little bit and we're going to click on the bits that we want to bring that swirly pattern over to and ideally these are, are going to be pieces that are um, one color surrounded by a darker color so that it stops it has a, a border that it stops on so let's try just one of these stripes okay so now what we want to do is do edit paste sorry we're going to do edit paste special and then paste into and you can see that we've got our little swirl pattern there now that swirl pattern is a bit small you can see it doesn't even fully fill that gap that we've put it into so let's stretch that and make sure that the bounding area around the outside of it fully covers um, at least her top I'm gonna go tick I could press enter now I want to fill in all of her top in between all of the little stripes so we're going to go back over to um, make sure that you're on, you're on the correct layer actually so let's rename this layer while we're here line drawing okay so we want to be in line drawing and we're going to fill in all of these other lines so we're going to go magic wand tool and we're going to click on that oh and that's got quite a few of them but I want to fill in some of these as well so I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to just keep going around filling in anywhere where I want that little bit pattern to go. Zoom in a bit more. We'll go back, edit, paste, special, paste into. And then we've got that bit too small again. Make it nice and big. And let's zoom in, zoom in, because I've got little little pieces to fit into here. And we'll go make sure I'm back on line drawing. Got that magic wand tool. Right, zoom in. Zoom right in. And then holding down, I'm clicking the first little white gap. I'm holding down shift. And you can see that a little plus has appeared on the cursor, so we know we're adding, adding to our selection. And let's just keep going all the way around, catching all those little white gaps. Oops. Here, here, here. Have I missed any? These two? Maybe this over here? Okay. Let's try edit, paste special, paste into. And we're going to have to make him bigger again. So make sure that you're clicked on that correct layer. You want the move tool so we can resize it easily. And just drag it up. So it's nice and big. If the original image that we'd taken this pattern from was larger, we wouldn't have to stretch it every single time. But because that first image was quite small, that's what's causing us problems. So I've got these two last little ones to do. Magic wand. Oops. I think I've done that wrong. So I'm going to deselect. By, so don't press um, backspace or delete here. You delete what you selected. You have to go um, select, deselect, or control D. I'm going to zoom in because I must have got that a little bit wrong there. And I'm going to magic wand select. Okay. I'm going to hold down the shift. I'm just going to try and grab his. Oh, I know what the problem is. I'm on the wrong layer. That's what I'm doing. Go control D to deselect all of that. 
make sure that you're on line drawing, that we're on the correct layer. And we'll go magic wand. There we go. And then we can go edit, paste special, paste into. And let's just make that a little bit bigger as well so that this swirl pattern is the same as elsewhere. Okay, I think also because we've um, I filled in her skirt here, we should probably fill in that back bit of the skirt. So making sure that we're on the correct layer, line drawing, I'm going to use my magic wand tool to select this last little bit here, edit, paste special, paste into. We'll make that larger. So one of the great uses for this is if you've done a sketch, a black and white sketch or a little line drawing of one of your um, outfits, you can paste in a texture that you've made or you could scan a fabric and then paste the scanned fabric into your um, black and white line drawing. So you can see lots of different options for what um, your garment would look like in different fabrics. And we could add in a different pattern, a different texture for her hat here. So let's go file, open, and let's go for the cross hatch pattern. Um, so we're going to do the same, we're going to select all, so we're going up here and we're going to select all and we want to copy that, so I'm going to go control C instead of doing it the long way around so that means this has been copied to our um, sort of invisible floating copy board and then if we go over here into uh, the mood board and we zoom in we're going to do the same as we did before with our magic wand tool we're going to make sure that we're on the correct layer we're going to click on the hat and I think as well we're going to click on the back part of that hat that you can see there. So I'm doing shift and I'm clicking on this white bit here and this white bit here. And then we're going to go edit, paste, special, paste into. And that one's a little bit small too so let's just, we clicked on the um, uh, move tool there and the scaling and transforming box in automatically um, comes up um, and click tick. If your scaling box doesn't automatically come up you can go to edit transform and that should bring up the scaling box for you if it isn't automatically coming up. Okay. Have a look at filling in some spaces with um, block colour. So let's zoom back in on our lady or line drawing lady and let's maybe give her sort of um, a skin tone so you go over here to your colors and your foreground color which at the moment is a sort of dark dark bluey gray so if we click on that let's pick um, a sort of pinky flesh tony uh, shade mine's quest this looks like she might be a bit ill maybe we want something a bit more down down here Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that's our um, main colour here. And again, with the magic wand tool, let's highlight her arms. Oops. Let's, so control D to deselect. I made a mistake there. Let's make sure that we're on the correct uh, layer. So line drawing. And then let's highlight her arms. And then I'm holding down shift to get her other arm. And I'm clicking on her face. And this time we're going to go edit and we're going to fill. So instead of um, pasting, we're going to fill. And we want 100% opacity. And we, that's the foreground colour. That's the foreground colour there. And that's what we want. There we go. And I'm going back to the move tool and I'm clicking off of... Um, I'll deselect. So control D to deselect. And then if we really wanted to, we could even give her some lipstick. So let's pick a new colour. Let's give her red, red lips. And same thing magic wand, select the bit, magic wand, make sure that you're on the right layer, control D. We're on line drawing, we're over here, we're selecting top lip, I'm holding down shift, selecting the bottom lip, I'm going to go edit, fill. And I'm going to control D to deselect. That's how you can put in a block colour.